Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have discussed cyclic quadrilaterals and we have seen the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. If one vertex of a quadrilateral is outside the circle drawn through the other three vertices, then the sum of the angles at this vertex and the opposite vertex is less than 180 degree. If it is inside the circle, the sum is more than 180 degree. If the opposite angles of a quadrilateral are supplementary, then it is a cyclic quadrilateral. There was a homework. Let us check the answer of it now. Calculate the angles of the quadrilateral in the picture and also the angles between the diagonals. Let us take the figure at first. These are the angles given. Now let us give a name for convenience. Look at these two angles. They are angles made by this arc BC on its alternate arc. So they are equal. Since this angle is 50 degree, this angle is also equal to 50 degree. That is angle CDB equal to angle CAB equal to 50 degree. Now look at these two angles. They are angles made by this arc DC on its alternate arc. So they are also equal. Since this angle is 45 degree, this angle is also equal to 45 degree. That is angle DBC equal to angle DAC equal to 45 degree. Now what is angle A that is 50 plus 45 or 95 degree. So we got one angle of this quadrilateral. We know ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral therefore the opposite angles are supplementary. Since this angle is 95 degree this angle C is 180 minus 95 degree or 85 degree. So we got the second angle of the quadrilateral. Now look at these two angles. They are angles made by this arc DA on its alternate arc. So they are equal. Since this angle is 30 degree, this angle is also equal to 30 degree. That is angle DCA equal to angle DBA equal to 30 degree. Now what is angle B that is 30 plus 45 or 75 degree. The opposite angles are supplementary therefore angle D equal to 180 minus angle B or 180 minus 75 degree and that is 105 degree. So we got all the four angles of this quadrilateral. Now let us find the angle between the diagonals. Consider this angle APB. The sum of the three angles of this triangle APB is 180 degree. This is 50 degree, this is 30 degree. Therefore, angle APB equal to 180 minus 50 plus 30 or 180 minus 80 and that is equal to 100 degree. Now, these two angles are supplementary. Their sum is 180 degree. Since this angle is 100 degree, this angle is 80 degree that is angle APD equal to 80 degree. Now these two angles are opposite angles so they are equal. Therefore angle CPD is also equal to 100 degree. Similarly these two angles are opposite angles so they are also equal. Since angle APD is 80 degree angle CPB is also equal to 80 degree. So we got all the four angles of the quadrilateral and angles between the diagonals. Today let us do the remaining problems on page 59. Prove that any outer angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the inner angle at the opposite vertex. 
First of all, let us draw a cyclic quadrilateral and one of its outer angle. We have to prove that the outer angle is equal to the inner angle at the opposite vertex. So let us draw the cyclic quadrilateral at first. Then this is the outer angle. Let us give a name for convenience. So in this figure ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral and angle CBP is its outer angle. We have to prove that angle CBP equal to angle D. Let angle D be X degree. We know ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral and therefore the opposite angles are supplementary. Therefore these two angles are supplementary and hence angle B equal to 180 minus X degree. That is angle ABC is 180 minus X degree. Now these two angles are in a linear pair. Therefore their sum is 180 degree. Therefore angle CBP equal to 180 minus angle ABC. Angle ABC is 180 minus X degree. So we can write angle CBP equal to 180 minus 180 minus X degree. Let us remove the bracket. Minus into 180 is minus 180. Minus into minus X is plus 6. So this can be written as 180 minus 180 plus X degree. 180 minus 180 is 0. Therefore angle CBP equal to X degree. That is this angle is X degree. That is these two angles are equal. This is the outer angle of this cyclic quadrilateral and this is the inner angle at the opposite vertex. So we can say the outer angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the inner angle at the opposite vertex. Next problem. Prove that a parallelogram which is not a rectangle is not cyclic. Let us draw a parallelogram which is not a rectangle. Let it be ABCD. Let ABCD be a parallelogram which is not a rectangle. We have to prove that it is not cyclic. Instead, let us take it as cyclic. If it is a cyclic quadrilateral, the opposite angles are supplementary. Therefore, angle A plus angle C equal to 180 degree. ABCD is a parallelogram. The opposite angles are equal. Therefore, angle A equal to angle C. Angle A plus angle C is 180 degree and angle A equal to angle C. That is, two angles are equal and their sum is 180 degree. Therefore, each angle is 90 degree. That is, angle A equal to 90 degree and angle C equal to 90 degree. In the same way, if ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral, then angle B plus angle D is also equal to 180 degree. Since it is a parallelogram, angle B equal to angle D. Therefore, angle B and angle D are also equal to 90 degree. That means all the four angles of ABCD are 90 degree. When all the four angles of a quadrilateral are 90 degree, then it is a rectangle. That means it is a contradiction. We have taken ABCD as a parallelogram which is not a rectangle. Now we have got that ABCD is a rectangle. So we arrived at a contradiction. Why do we got a contradiction? Because we have started at wrong. We have taken this as cyclic. Therefore, we got a contradiction. Hence, we can say it is not cyclic. That is, a parallelogram which is not a rectangle is not cyclic. If it is not cyclic, this sum cannot be 180 degree. Then we will not get these angles 90 degree. So, we got the contradiction because we start at wrong. Next problem. Prove that any non-isosceles trapezium is not cyclic. Non-isosceles trapezium means a trapezium which is not isosceles. Let us draw a trapezium which is not an isosceles trapezium. 
let it be a b c d we have to prove that it is not cyclic we are going to use contradiction method let us take it as cyclic and observe what happens if it is cyclic the opposite angles are supplementary then angle a plus angle c equal to 180 degree let us take angle c on the other side of the equal sign then we can write angle A equal to 180 minus angle C. Now ABCD is a trapezium. Therefore AB and CD are parallel. Angle C and angle B are co-interior angles formed when the parallel lines AB and CD are intersected by the line BC. Therefore their sum is 180 degree that is angle b plus angle c equal to 180 degree let us take c on the other side then we can write angle b equal to 180 minus angle c now look at these two statements angle a equal to 180 minus angle c angle b equal to 180 minus angle c that means angle a and angle b are equal when these two angles are equal then it is an isosceles trapezium which is a contradiction because we have started by telling ABCD is a non-isosceles trapezium. Why do we got a contradiction? Because we started at wrong. Therefore, it is not cyclic or any non-isosceles trapezium is not cyclic. If it is not cyclic, then angle A plus angle C is not equal to 180 degree then we cannot say angle a equal to 180 minus angle c then we cannot say angle a and angle b are equal we got this contradiction because we started at wrong today we have done some problems on page 59 and we have learned the contradiction method also now there is a homework in the picture, bisectors of adjacent angles of the quadrilateral ABCD intersect at PQRS. Prove that PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. In the next video, we shall discuss the remaining problems. Till then, bye.